Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. In this video, I'm going to teach you and show you how to integrate Blue Sky social media directly into your Shopify store. This is really powerful and it is the best Blue Sky and Shopify integration. I'm going to teach you how to do it the exact right way. And Blue Sky is becoming a really very important, super important social network. Lots and lots of brands are there and the bottom line is your customers are already engaging with brands on Blue Sky. It's becoming one of the biggest social networks out there. And that means you need to be present. You need to be integrated with Blue Sky and you want to have it right on your Shopify store. And a really popular strategy is to set up the Blue Sky Feed Shopify app. This is going to allow you to quickly and easily integrate Blue Sky social content directly into your Shopify store. And there's definitely some pain points if you want to implement this because there's no built-in way to do it with Shopify. You're gonna to need to use an app. I'm gonna show you the exact app that I use. I'll show you an app that is super easy and requires no prior technological skill. You don't need to be a developer or a coder or anything like that in order to get this started. And most importantly, the app must allow for either search terms or specific account content to be shown. I'll show you this over the shoulder, exactly how you'll be able to customize when you use the Blue Sky Feed app for your Shopify store. Highly, highly recommended. You see the link directly below this video. Let's go over the shoulder and I'll show you more. You're looking at the Blue Sky Feed app and again, the link directly below this video. Highly, highly recommended. This is gonna be the easiest way to embed Blue Sky posts and content directly on your Shopify store. You'll be able to use your Blue Sky user handle or you can use search terms. I'll show you how to do this. It's really, really easy and uh, we'll set this up in my store and we'll create the widget. Very simple step-by-step -step process over here. We're gonna be able to get our feed in there. You'll, live, you'll even be able to preview the posts that are gonna be shown. It updates automatically, and you could literally place it right on your Shopify store. It's really, really powerful and really easy to do. All you need to do to get this set up is go over here and press the install button. We're gonna go ahead and follow along step-by-step. -step. You get a free trial in here as well, so you can make sure it's fully set up. You'll be able to use your online store editor to add this to your store, as many widgets as you want with flexible search conditions and literally fully customizable. So we come over here and press install. This is gonna bring us back into our Shopify store where we're gonna grant permissions for this app to install. So we'll go ahead and click install and that will be brought into the Blue Sky Feed app dashboard. It's a quick, simple three-step process. We're gonna create a widget, we're gonna create a publish spot and then we're gonna publish everything live to our store. So step one, we're gonna come over here, we see our recent widgets, we haven't created any. And this is going to allow us to create one of two different types. We have a profile type of widget or a search type of widget. I'll show you the difference between two. We'll come over here, I'll call this profile test, and we'll select profile and click create. So what we have over here, of course, our name, and now all we need to do is enter in our user identifier. Really, really easy, really simple to do this. Literally all we're gonna be doing is you see the uh, kind of format here, at username.bsky, Dot social. It's going to be just your typical blue sky identifier. So we'll go ahead and put one in. So I'll paste that in. You'll see that it's going to automatically pull my pinned posts over here. You'll see the post preview. You'll have full control over what you want to pin on your blue sky that will get shown over here. So we can press save. And this is all that we need to do to create our user based profile test. So we have this saved over here and I can come back over here into my dashboard. I of course now see my recent widget. We'll come over here and click create widget. This time we're gonna do a search test and I'll show you the difference over here. So we click search of course. And now what we're gonna do is you see we have a couple of different uh, things here. We have the username of course, but we're also gonna have the at, or I'm sorry, the from colon in front of it. So that's really the only difference. What's gonna happen here is, and you could even select your own account if you want, it's gonna show specific uh, filters here based on what we add in. So we'll come over here and set up the same thing. So I'll say from, Okay, and now we could add hashtags, we could add search terms, let's say for example, Shopify, and we see that the post previews will update accordingly, right? It's really just kind of dependent on what type of content you put in here. So you could be searching out specific hashtags, you could be searching out specific search terms, right? Anything that you want, you'll have full control over that. Again, in this case, I'll do the Shopify example. So you can get really creative here, put in any type of search term that you want, any type of hashtag, and of course, any account. You get a bit more flexibility here with the search-based widget. And uh, we'll save this one over here. We have two different widgets now in our Blue Sky feed 
And what we now need to do is create a publish spot. So we're going to come over here and create publish spot. And this is going to give us the instruction in terms of adding the widget and it couldn't be any easier. All that we need to do is use our theme editor, right? We always use it over here in our online store theme editor. You've customized your store plenty of times. We'll come in over here and we literally get to add a new block and it's going to be that publish spot right over here. Blue sky feed couldn't be any easier. We'll be able to name it and all that great stuff. And once we have that, we'll be able to publish it. So let's go over here. You can click right into the online store theme editor. I'll open in a new window just to make it a little easier. Go into the theme editor and I'm going to select the home page over here because I want to have this integrated directly on my home page. So we'll come over here and you see all the different sections that I have on the store. I'm literally just going to come over here and click add section. Okay, and we can come over here. Actually, I already have uh, an app section. I can come over here and add an app section right here, publish spot. And you see that we have our publish spot over here. We'll be able to assign a widget to this publish spot in a second, but I'm going to say uh, my homepage spot. So we're going to save that there. Now, when I come back over here, you can see that I have recent publish spots. We'll go ahead and click view all. And we'll be able to now assign widgets. And I created a bunch of different spots over here. This one's on my category page. This is on my product page. It's on my home page. So I'll show you. Come over here to the home page spot. Now all that we need to do is select a widget. So we'll come over here. We'll select our widget. I'll go ahead and use the profile one that we selected. And I'll save it right over here. Really as simple as that. We set where it's going to be. We set up the widget. We added the publish spot and we set the widget to be in this publish spot. We can now take a look at our live store and I'll show you exactly how this looks. So I'll open up this preview and we'll come over here. Remember we put it right on the uh, right above the footer. So if I keep scrolling down here and here you go. Here are our posts directly in here. Blue sky posts and uh, you know we could change it to be let's say we wanted to come over here and change. We can do the search test instead of the profile test. We'll save that out and we'll come and open up the store again. And we could scroll down again and you see that this is only the one that has Shopify in that search term. So full control updates automatically couldn't be any easier. So that was the Blue Sky Feed Shopify app. As you saw, incredibly easy to use, incredibly easy to set up. And just like that, you have Blue Sky Feed content right inside from the social network right into your Shopify store. Really cool, really powerful. This is a must have in your Shopify store. Highly recommended. It. It's by far the easiest way to embed Blue Sky posts and content on your store. Link directly below this video. If you have any questions whatsoever, please do leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer each and every single one of them personally. Otherwise, I hope this helps you make some money and I'll talk to you real soon. Thanks a lot.